Today's Gospel, Tuesday, June 8, is taken from St. Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faith Food Reflection is by Brother Egay Paulate of the Pag-ibig sa Diyos Catholic Community. When Jesus said, You are the salt and light of the earth, He is practically putting us at His level since He is the true salt and light of the earth. This title poses a big challenge for us because whether we intend it or not, our lives affect those around us positively or negatively. When filled with the Spirit of Jesus, people around us will recognize His powerful presence in us. Once His Spirit is with us, we cannot go on living as before because His presence ought to make a difference in our lives and people will be drawn to us like magnet. When Christ's presence is evident in our life, people want their children to be around our children because they know they are raised to be God-fearing. Our uprightness will attract employers and would hire us to work in their establishment. People would choose us to be their leader because they know us as someone of integrity before God. The more we allow Christ to make His presence evident in our life, the more people will draw near us and find Him. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. From Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let us pray. Lord, increase my faith in you that others may see you through me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.